Hey, what's up, Internet? I'm Hector Navarro, and today on the show, we're talking Doom Patrol. Plus, we're looking back on this past season of Black Lightning. All of that and more today on DCTV. Here's the logo. All right, y'all, it's time for everybody's new favorite segment, Hector Summer Re- And Chili, hang on a second. Before we throw up the title for Hector Summer Reading List, guys, come on, I really feel like I'm getting beat down these past two weeks. I wanted it to look really cool, and instead it looks real dinky and rinky-dinky. Can we make it look awesome? Can we make it look like uh, the Superman font, that Superman logo, that really cool, those awesome letters with the 3D effects and the shadows and, and it kind of warps like that. It looks really cool. It's like Hector Summer Reading List. Can we do that? Can we move that up? Cool, look at how awesome that looks. Guys, it's time for Hector's Summer Reading List. Boom, Hector's Summer Reading List. Look at how awesome that looks. Finally, we have arrived, baby. They didn't mess with me this time. It looks great. All right, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. So now, moving on to Hector's actual Summer Reading List. Guys, Doom Patrol is coming to DC Universe, live action Doom Patrol. So, in order to get you prepped, we are going to be visiting the most iconic and genre-defining run of Doom Patrol ever, Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol. You're gonna wanna go pick up volumes one, two, and three, and this is the run that completely changed the game. It made these characters household names and comic book fans' houses because everybody had their eyes on Doom Patrol and what Grant Morrison was doing for this. He was breaking all of the rules. It was incredible. You've got fan favorite characters like the classic Doom Patrol, Robot Man, those guys from the 60s, meeting with new characters like Crazy Jane, villains like the Brotherhood of Dada. You meet a character named Danny the Street, the Candle Maker. It's all there. It's all nuts. It's crazy. If what I'm saying to you right now sounds crazy, we haven't even scratched the surface. So go ahead and read volumes one, two, and three of Grant Morrison's genre bending Doom Patrol. And once you're done with that, I'm going to give you guys extra credit right here. All right, we're going to stay in the Doom Patrol family. Your extra credit is going to be to go check out Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol volumes one, two, and three. That's right. You're going to want to go ahead and read those again because I know that they didn't make a lick of sense the first time I read them because I'm a real (laughs) dum-dum. Grant Morrison's real smart, real smart guy. So yes, Please, for extra credit, read Doom Patrol Volumes 1, 2, and 3 again so that they just make a little bit more sense and you completely grasp what it is that genius visionary Grant Morrison is doing with these characters and with the world in DC Comics. Boom, so there it is. That's how you're going to get your Hector's Summer Reading List extra credit and your gold star you can print out. You're probably asking yourself, Hector, where am I going to get these books? The links are in the description below. There it is. You're welcome. And get your prep for Doom Patrol for when it arrives on DC Universe. Okay, guys, we've seen an amazing debut season from the show Black Lightning. Black Lightning's back! And we asked you guys last week what some of your favorite moments from the first season were, and y'all responded with some comments. Here we go. Alexander James Palmer says, favorite moments of Black Lightning season one. Number one, the awesome pilot episode. Number two, Anissa getting her costume. Number three, Jennifer learning her lightning powers. Number four, Black Lightning versus Tobias Whale fights. Such an awesome season. Hector, you know you're my guy with impressions. Hit me with a Tobias Whale impression when you read this comment. Also looking forward to Titans to premiere. Here we go, let me try it. Such an awesome season. Hector, you know you're my guy with the impressions. Hit me with the Tobias Whale impression when you read this comment. I'm trying to get real low into the microphone when you read this comment. Also, looking forward to Titans premiere. I can't do it. My voice is up high all the way, all the time. I can't usually do the Tobias Whale. Such a good character, such a good voice. I cannot do it, but thank you so much for the comment. And check out this clip from one of the four moments you mentioned. You don't even know what you can do. I mean, you could be out here really helping say... I don't want to know what I can do. Oh, so you're just going to walk away? Yes. That's what you do when things get tough. You walk away. Go ahead, quit. Girl, bye. Jennifer, look at me. This is real, okay? It's real. People are out there dying, and we have powers, powers that we have a responsibility to help save people. No, you you have a responsibility to help save people. I don't have a responsibility to do anything. Okay, yep, you're right. You don't. And you know what? It's probably best that you don't find out what you can do because you just might quit. Just like you quit track, you'll probably quit on me, mom, and dad when we need you the most. And let's not forget that you quit on Khalil, too. Yep, I said it. Oh, but whoa, Jen. Hey, Jennifer. Oh my God, Jen. What just happened? 
happened? Oh my God, you're just like dad. Burkell Scamer says, Black Lightning season one was awesome, but I really liked Khalil in one of the final episodes when he and Tobias fought Black Lightning at the school. So hyped for season two, exclamation point, smiley face emoji. What an awesome fight, what a rad clip. We're about to show you, check it out. see who this clown is. Go, go! El Sorprendente bloke says, Black Lightning, my favorite moments. References from Vixen and Supergirl. The flashbacks, Black Lightning and Thunder. What an iconic team up. What a great father-daughter moment. Check out the clip. And Bat Jordan Valdez says, thanks for reading my comment and playing my favorite moment, Hector. Smiley face emoji. It made me cry tears of joy once again, watching that absolutely beautiful moment of my OTP. <laughs> for my favorite moment from season one of Black Lightning, I have to go with the epic fight scene where Jefferson saves Jennifer from Lala and Will at the club in the pilot, which reminded me quite a bit of the Batman Begins docs scene. <laughs> well, we're not gonna show you the Batman Begins clip because we've all seen that. But instead, here's the clip from the pilot. Check it out, Black Lightning's back. Say something heroically clever. Now you just piss me off. Let's go, Where's Lana? I don't know. Boy, now I'm only gonna ask you one more time. Where's Lala? I don't know, man. Is that your car? Ooh. Yeah. It was nice. And finally, Mark Molino says, my two favorite Black Lightning moments is Anissa discovering her powers and the BL and Tobias fighting in high school. What an incredible moment. Here's the clip.
Okay guys, that is it for DCTV this week. But remember, you guys can sign up to get all the latest late breaking news updates about DC Universe over at DCUniverse.com. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Okay, you guys are gonna make the title look really cool this time, though, right? For Hector's summer reading list. You're gonna you're gonna make it look good? How come nobody's looking me in the eyes, guys? Come on. Guys, don't come on, don't do that. Don't walk out. Don't walk out. We gotta. Come on, guys, make the title good, please. Come on.